really quick message the Lord just downloaded in my spirit about your friends. You know how people say, I'll die for my friends, I'll ride for my friends and die for them? Don't die for them, live for them. And I'm feeling this song in my spirit by C. Murder called Down For My N-I-G-G-A-S. Down for them. Be down to live for them so that you can help to escape that environment that's causing you all to want to fight and kill and destroy. That is the works of the enemy. So get away from them so that you can help them live and not die. My God, the enemy is trying to destroy you and your family. He's evil and he's out to still kill and destroy you. So God placed you with them to help them escape that environment that you're strong to come out of. He says, bad company corrupts good character. Get out of there. God sent you there for a mission. But because of the love you have for them, they're drawing you away from Christ. And now you're going to do those same things that they are telling you to do. The same things that you're trying to escape. You're going to want to do those things because you said you died, you'll die for them. And they're going to be holding you accountable for that. And they're going to be waiting for you to live for them, not die for them. Because if you die, then you're not going to be remembered anymore. I mean, after you die, that's it. And what about the family? What about the family you leave behind? Who's going to teach them? They're going to have to go through the same thing that took you out. Because history repeats itself. But God has called you to be the chosen one to go in there and help them escape that lifestyle. Thank you, Lord. So don't die for them. Live for them. But seek first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness so that he can add the life to you and everything you need to escape the jaws and the terror of the night. We're children of the day and not night. The enemy wants to come and do things at nighttime and destroy you because you're the chosen one. But no weapon formed against you will be able to prosper. Flee from the devil. Resist him. <laughs> he will flee. So go live for them. You may not see them for a while. God will take them out of your life, maybe for a brief time. Maybe he'll reunite you back. He's going to take them out of your life for probably a short time. He may bring them back, but he has to show you how to come out of that because you've been trapped in it for so long. You're so used to it, you'll go back to it. But the Most High God has to show you through Jesus Christ how to escape that so that he can rescue you, so that you can go help rescue them. It's more than one. So that we can all live together in unity and in love. If you love your brother, live for them. God is love. 1 John 4, 8. So if you don't know God, you don't know what love is. Love your neighbor. Help them up when they're down. When they fall, you'll help them up. We sharpen each other up. Iron sharpens iron. No one does the work for anyone. Everyone is responsible for their own salvation. So we must study with fear and trembling so that we can work out our own salvation with fear and trembling. God will teach us the way how to escape the terror of the night, the fear, because God did not give us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Do not be timid of anything. 
If God be for you, who can be against you? No one. No one. Because God will see you through it. And then he'll help bring them out of it too. And then you'll be known as the child of God. Don't die for your friends. Live for them. You may have to lose them for a brief time. But when it's time, God will bring them back if they are truly your real friends. The true friend will not want you to be in danger. They will want the best for you and your family to live, to live life and have it abundantly and not live in fear, but with purpose. God loves you, and so do I. Most importantly, Jesus loves you. Amen? Amen.